in capital case. And there are still concerns and it is very difficult at this point of time to make a steady observation on the movement of the rupee. Uh, the good thing in India has happened that uh, the Rajasthan crude oil fields plus the production of oil at 5,000 barrel per day. As to the refining capacity uh, in the country, uh, this has uh, kept on uh, the addition uh, which has been, uh, which is which is witnessed for the last couple of years. And the domestic fuel demand, the petroleum products demand has grown by 4.9%. And the capacity has grown by almost 20 million tons over 2000, because it was approximately 193 million tons in 2000. Uh, on on 31st March 2011 and on 31st March 2012, it's around 213. So there is a growth of 30 million, whereas in the demand, there is a growth of 4.9%. So there is still a surplus capacity, and India is one of the large markets for the petroleum products. Uh, there have been uncertainties uh, on the domestic uh, gas output. Uh, this has resulted in a little boost to the, the gas high LNG. So where the uh, demand has picked up uh, despite the very high prices again in the, the gas tight uh, LNG market. And uh, India has emerged as the third largest Asian LNG buyer in uh, 2011, only after Japan and Korea. Crude oil imports, uh, which were approximately uh, $100 billion last year, uh, they have plus $141 billion. And uh, if I go by the figures that, because we also export and we also import, the net uh, impact of this has been approximately, uh, it has gone up from 68 uh, billion to 93 billion dollars, the net to net. That means uh, we have not only imported crude oil, we have also imported the petroleum products, but at the same time we have exported the petroleum products. And if I might uh, share the data with you that, uh, the crude oil import was 141 billion, which was 99 billion last year. The product imports, because we import a lot of LPG, so LPG is one commodity in the country, which is shorting. So it was uh, petroleum products in general uh, imports were 14.9 billion, which was 12 billion dollars last year. And the exports, because the price has also been high, which was 40 million dollars last year, they have been 60 billion dollars. So, so if you net all this for uh, import and export, there is a net increase of approximately 24.5 billion dollars in the import bill, which has the consequential uh, significant impact for the domestic economy. These are some of the tutorials. Uh, it shows the movement of the Brent, Nymex, Dubai and the Indian basket and the Indian basket has uh, been as the slide shows almost as high as $125 per barrel. It has of course fallen the last couple of uh, days. Now I will come to the overall overview of Indian oil. I think you all know this uh, including CPC and this is our uh, Subsidy, we have uh, 10 group refining companies with a total uh, capacity of 65.7 million tons, which is approximately 31% uh, uh, of the country's refining capacity. It used to be 34, but there has been a lot of addition uh, in the country. And uh, we have a robust marketing network uh, of approximately 37,000 touch points uh, all over the country with retail outlets. Uh, as the, as the film also shows, costing uh, more than 20,000. And in terms of our total uh, presence, uh, we have uh, almost 50% of like more than 50% presence uh, in the country. And uh, the other additional feature is that uh, we serve in places where no one else serves, because we serve in the dark later. We also serve in the northeast and we serve in the remotest corners. Uh, and if you imagine, uh, you know, 24 hours a day, uh, 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week, three to two half days a year. It, it's a tremendous task to ensure that uh, you get your petrol, uh, diesel, or LPG, even in Ladakh or any other part of the country. This is a tremendous challenge, but I'm very happy to share that the team of Indian Health has made it uh, happen, and it happens each moment, each uh, day.
the other highlight of the year, if I were to summarize, apart from that uh, turnover, etc., has dropped and all time high of four lakhs, etc., but in terms of the business implications, what I would suppose that the major highlight of the year has been that uh, we have been able to turn around our petrochemical uh, business on a whole because we have presence in lab, we have presence in PTA, and we have presence in polymer. So on a whole, for the first year, uh, the polymer business, the petrochemical part is polymer. We have been able to stabilize because last year we had shared that we are running into three through the initial uh, stabilization difficulties, etc. But we are very happy to share that uh, the plant is stabilized. It's of operating at 100% capacity uh, for the last uh, couple of uh, months. Uh, Mr. Ghosh, my colleague here, will also uh, share more about this. And in terms of EBITDA, I'm not saying, uh, saying that we are making net profit out of our business. <laughs> but in terms of earning before interest, depreciation, we have turned around and the year on the whole has been very positive year. And uh, we hope that uh, with the stabilization of the plant and its operating at 100%, uh, we will see uh, good profits in future. On the R&D side, uh, again, uh, we continue to remain uh, the Asia's uh, uh, important uh, R&D center and provide good support uh, in all the segments of the industry. Our presence in natural gas, uh, uh, and the other, uh, especially the renewables, as the film also shows that uh, we have built capacity for the first time we are able to uh, complete this 5 megawatt uh, solar power, which was of course completed on 31st January 2012 against uh, challenging time schedule and I must compliment uh, my team members from Illinois who made it happen because there were very likelihood that like this is split. But uh, we achieved this within the schedule that we had decided for ourselves. And on the wind farm also that uh, we have uh, added uh, significant capacity during this year. We had 21 and I think we have added 16.8 megawatts within the current year. 12.8 megawatts is the uh, wind capacity and we have some more commissioning on. And with that commissioning we will have uh, wind, wind power capacity of approximately 69 megawatts uh, in the Indian oil mode uh, with another 17 megawatts with CPCL that will take it to still around 90 megawatts. And we have some more plans uh, so very soon we will uh, maybe uh, in some time future we will cross 100 megawatts as, uh, as the wind power is concerned. Now coming to the physical performance, 